Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPV, and we've got some uh, RMAs to work on today. Um, so this is going to be one of the air unit issues where there's no OSD and this is a diode issue. But before I go and assume that that's the problem, I am going to go ahead and use our, uh, our setup here so that I can get the OSD, I can test the OSD, and I use this setup here for my DJI testing. I'm going to see if I can also, I hate to, I thought I had another board, but honestly let me see hold on i may have the board here to use instead of this one uh, that was already pre-wired maybe it's this here good vista yeah okay so this is the good vista tester board so i'll use this one here this would be my dji testing board so we at least have two different kinds okay so this is already wired up to get it to work so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to go ahead and uh that's a lot of crazy solder okay let me get my goggles on because there's clearly some excess solder here that we need to get rid of. So let me just do this. There we go. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean this up here a little bit. So let's just wipe those down. No, let's see if that'll work. Let me get my flux pen. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm gonna be stifling. I still have my cold that I can't shake. I apologize, I apologize. All right, let's get these soldered and we will go. See if that'll hold at least. If that'll just work for the time being, what we can do is I'll need my goggles here running. So I'll plug these in here. And then I'll plug this flight controller in here. Hopefully, we can see what's happening. Okay, so now I just need to find my regular glasses. Where the heck did I put them? They are. All right, so we have our red light. We'll wait for it to turn green so that I can bind, and then we will check. So, all right, so let me go ahead and start binding. Okay. Now he's right, there is no OSD. Let me make sure all my settings on this flight controller are correct before I go and assume that we have nothing. So I'm going to go into beta flight here. I'm not going to bother showing you guys the computer screen. Everybody knows how this works now. And if you don't, just let me know and I'll show you. But uh, for the most part, this should be pretty simple. Um, and on my ports, yep, UART 6 or UART 2, I mean. So that's good. Uh, so that should be working. So. Uh, that being said, we can confirm that there is no OSD. Let me go to my OSD page, make sure I have something checked, and I do. And yeah, we don't have anything. All right. So because of that, we're going to go ahead and do the, empower this off, and we are going to do um, the repair on this, where we uh, remove the diode uh, on this board for OSD and get things back to normal. So that being said, let me somehow finagle this thing around. Uh, so that I can remove all the wiring. Okay, there we go. I do need to get the right heating tip for this heat gun. I think I'll use 
use that cable next time. It's a little longer. Let's put all these wires away. And let's put this on here. Okay. And now let's go ahead and open this up. This came off very easily, which is kind of concerning. Um, shouldn't be that easy. Usually, well, I guess that just means maybe it was open before, who knows. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and put this under the microscope and then I will share this with you guys so you can see what I'm looking at. Give me a second and I'll put that computer up on the screen. Okay. What we're going to do is, <coughs> hot darn, I'm telling you guys, I wish it on no one. This is the worst pull <coughs> three weeks of this complete nonsense. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab, and I'm going to use a different set of tweezers than normal. Um, let me see if I can get some light on. I don't like that at all. Let me see if I can get it with this one. You get a better grip with this one. Although these are metal, so these will get a little bit hotter than I want them to. Yeah. All right, well, we're going with this one then. So I'm gonna get the, we can get it ready. Hopefully we can maintain a grip on this thing. Let me try this then. With these super fine ones that I stole from my wife. Don't tell her, please. Okay, now I'm gonna try to keep this still for you guys. It does start cooking my hand though. <laughs> it's not most comfortable. Let me increase the temperature a little bit. All right, let's see if we can get this to not have to take so long because it does start to burn. Look at that. Clean, clean break. Board looks good. I'd say that's a success pull. We're gonna let the board cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. Okay, now let's take the microscope out. Let's get back to our bench. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna put just two screws in here, something to hold it in place for the time being. While we test the OSD now, God, that's hot. Woo! I'm very honest with you, it's, it is something you can do at home, obviously, but you have to be very careful that you do not heat up the rest of the components and then end up pulling off everything. That is what I see most people do by accident, obviously, and that sucks. Uh, where is my, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wire this back up. 
Okay, so here we go. My old man Malu goggles. Okay. Let's see if we have this problem solved. Sorry guys, I'm just checking out the rest of the stuff here. Okay, everything there looks great. I'm checking out a few other things. But anyways, so that pretty much did it. So there you go. So the OSD is fixed. Uh, that diode again, just pretty much like it has been. Diode had to come out. Now everything's running perfect. And we have our OSD back on the screen. All right guys, if you have any questions, as always, uh, you can let me know. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just show some support here by doing that. And I hope you have a great day, guys, and we'll see you soon. God bless. Be safe. Talk to you later. Bye.